We wanted to show how to put your own example corner images in uh, from your own photographs and the first thing to do is to move the uh, images that you've got from your digital camera for the, for the uh, corners over into uh, your documents folder. The documents folder is usually easily found on the, on the computer and under Documents, M-Panel Shade Designer, Images and this is our preferred place to keep all of the uh, images for the corners. Um, we then move our or copy our image uh, over to here. I've got a new image here which is a, actually an image of a, of a wide corner. Then in M-Panel Shade Designer we'd go in onto the example corners database and add a new item I'm going to call this one wide corner I'm going to say that it can be used with webbing with a, a ring, a ring is a generic word for a D-ring because it could be a triangular ring or a round ring and we'll then just uh, search for that file it will by default look in this in this uh, documents mpanel shade designer images folder and we can select the I call it new image to make it clear what's going on just here and here's a picture of the new image and we then just save that by clicking on the save button just there now whenever in mpanel shade designer we are selecting uh, webbing with a D-ring, one of the options that we'll have will be for the corner called a wide corner and it'll appear just there. Now the only restriction really is that uh, digital cameras nowadays can produce very high quality images. On this sort of size of image there's no real reason for the uh, image size to be any bigger than about 200k. You may well have a setting on your camera to be able to save the digital images to a low resolution. Uh, a lot, a lot of uh, cameras or programs will do that to enable you to email pictures to people easily. If you do have a, uh, uh, a, fo a fo digital photograph that's a very high resolution, it just a little bit slows the program down to load it. So it's worth trying to keep the resolution uh, down fairly reasonable.